Accra, Ghana, the Gold Coast, and the center of a new wave of insurance sweeping Africa through mobile phones. So do you all have five? Yes. yes. Let's continue. That's it. Three. Three. When Ella's father died in September, the 2,000 Sadies or $800 she received from Tigo Insurance paid for the funeral. And funerals in Ghana are expensive social events. We would find it difficult raising the money, but due to Tigo Insurance, I was able to finance my dad's funeral successfully and then some of the money has remained for we the kids to complete our education. The life insurance came free with her mobile phone. The payout will allow Ella to complete her training as a teacher and work to put her younger brother and sister through school. Her father Francis worked at the transport union. He was the main income earner for the family. He was really supporting my family, but since his death, we are only depending on we working harder and then the Tigo insurer, which is supporting us here for our living. For the insurers, reaching poor and low-income people like Ella meant mass distribution. We need scale in order to make these products work. Mobile is the channel where you can connect to the most people today in Africa. The problem mobile phone operators faced was hanging on to customers. Subscribers have multiple SIM cards, and they can switch between them very, very easily, very cheaply, and they do all the time based on different promotions. I'm Solomon from Tigo. So Tigo made a big bet that free insurance for airtime users would pay for itself by reducing churn and increasing use of airtime. You have the opportunity to register yourself with one family member. They doubled the insurance market in its first year of operation. And 93% of clients were brand new to insurance. They'd never had insurance before. Yeah, sign me in, sign me in, sign me in, yeah. Which family member do you want to add to yourself? Airtime customers can stay on the free plan or double their cover by signing on to the pay plan. And plenty are. If we have something called extra life, in case you want to double the insurance cover. 30% of people convert to that paid for model. And so essentially what you get is a million people taking a free policy, then 300,000 or 400,000 within several months are buying insurance. Today, 1.3 million Ghanaians are insured through Tigo. Okay. Beatrice supports three kids with her business selling soap and small goods door to door. Her biggest cost is paying school fees. Beatrice's mother, Yara Giawe, died in October. The time my mother died, I lost every money was gone. And even I don't have money for my kids. And now I'm happy. But I remember my mom, that's why I feel some a little tears. Beatrice received a payment from Tigo Insurance of 1,600 Sadies or nearly $700. She used half to pay the funeral debts. I went back and pay all that amount and pay some to my children's school for the small one. A lot of the dogma in the insurance industry about what people want and what they don't was really um, unproven by, by the Tigo case. We saw that the poor will get excited about insurance. We saw that we can get to scale quickly. We saw that the business model works for insurance companies and for telecoms, and you know, most importantly for the client. I was suffering on um, the way I'm selling small, small, but because maybe God's know. That's why he bring the Tigo insurance to the people so that we get something on it.